So here is my Stream Deck profile for DaVinci Resolve. And you know, it comes, when you download the Stream Deck software, it comes with a profile now. Now it didn't before, but it gives you a lot of great ideas like you can use the emojis or it has links to tutorials or you can open applications. But we are here to talk about non-linear editing shortcuts and it's specifically for me, DaVinci Resolve. Okay, let's go ahead and make a new profile and we're going to name it DaVinci Resolve. And then go ahead and choose the application in your folder, DaVinci Resolve. And now anytime you have an active DaVinci Resolve panel open, it will automatically switch to this profile. Okay, now we're going to add a switch profile at the beginning and that's going to act as our back because I'm gonna link it to our default profile. So that way if you want to back out of this profile, you have a way to do it. Next, we're going to be adding hotkeys to every button. So that might take a little time because you gotta drag it over or you can copy and paste it, but we're just gonna drag over a bunch of hotkeys and then we're going to go find them in DaVinci Resolve. So let's start making some hotkeys here. So this one's gonna be in, which is I, the next one's gonna be out, which is O, and then the next one is going to be clear in and out, which is option X. Now I have all those memorized, but you know, if I had my hand on that stream deck, I don't wanna take it off, so I want some basic functionality there. And then when you're thinking about what hotkeys you want wherever on your stream deck, maybe plan it out on a piece of paper and think of it in organizational sections because then you can use colors to sort of coordinate where things are. So on my stream deck, I have all of my edits there in red. I have the trimming in green and then I have timeline function in yellow. So it just works for me. And if you wanna take things one step further, you can make hotkeys depending on the page you are. So right here, I'm working on my edit page right there, which is a hotkey to move to the edit page inside of DaVinci Resolve, and then to switch to the edit page profile hotkeys I created inside of my stream deck. Now you can do that for each individual page, so that would be helpful, you know, if you're doing color grading and you want a different hotkeys. So this is just only my edit page and all you have to do is set up a multi-action uh, command in the Stream Deck, which are two simple actions. One is the hotkey to move to that page. And then two, it is to switch to the profile and then the specific page that you created. And, you know, I changed all of the back folders to move to the DaVinci Resolve profile. So that way I could exit back into you know the hotkey and then that's the way to switch the page and also get the hotkey so it can help to make a logical page on a notebook like i did with the root folder but i hope this video helped you if it did drop a like give me a sub and leave a comment so i know what else to make for you thank you a million and goodbye